Hello, folks. This is Jamil Sweat for Gunstock Reviews. We're here at C2 Tactical in Scottsdale, Arizona, our favorite indoor facility. And today we're going to be testing, uh, doing our first uh, range test of our pocket-friendly 45 ACP race gun that Marty's building for us. So it's getting to a point that we're doing our first range test with it. Again, the first uh, upgrade we did was did the magwell and the grip safety. Then we did the fire control and the thumb safety. Then Marty installed the sights. This one is actually the Glock front sight. And then Marty added the mag catch and the slide stop to it. So now we're to a point that before we start doing all the cosmetic work, we're going to see where it's shooting. So we're going to be shooting it at 10 yards. Uh, we're going to be using Federal 230 grain um, full metal jacket ammo going about 890 feet per second of the muzzle. This is fairly hot ammo. And then we have another ammo here that I've had for years. This is ammo that I got 30 years ago and put away and we're gonna see how it performs out of this pistol. So first, let's see how it performs and we're gonna be shooting it. Like I said, I'm gonna shoot three rounds first and then we'll see where he hits because Marty was concerned that the front sight was a little bit too high that he, he would have to mill it down a little bit on the slide. So I'm gonna look and see how it performs. So 10 yards, which is more or less the farthest I'm gonna be shooting this pistol at for either training or even competition. Also, we're gonna be using the Ransom Rest um, Multi-Cal Steady Rest, which is a great sturdy uh, platform to be doing this kind of test because you know, this thing is solid. So let's go ahead and try it. Well, what can I say? It's shooting a little bit low. Marty was right. It's shooting about an inch, inch and a half, maybe two inches low at 10 yards. So Marty can fix that by machining a little bit more of the top of the slide and setting the front side just a tad lower. It's not going to be a problem. This is easily solved by Marty. And he had told me he had that worry when we started. But accuracy-wise, except for the one shot I went low, um, everything else is pretty much right then and there. So I'm happy with it, performance-wise. So now we're going to shoot not only performance, I'm going to shoot at the target too and see how it shoots. But I'm going to try this old ammo because we had issues with this ammo, the primers being super hard. And I'm just going to try it and see how it performs. Um, with a new uh, ignition system in this uh, particular pistol because it has a Harrison performance system in it that is really effective and I bet that it's gonna work great with this ammo. So let's go ahead and try it. See how it shoots. Well, it shoots great. Uh, it's, it's hot. It's a little hot. This ammo is 30 years old. I've had this ammo now for, I got it almost 30 years ago. It's a German gecko ammo. There's nothing wrong with it, but it wasn't performing well before because it wasn't igniting all the time. And I think it's the fact that we had put in a lighter mainspring on it and didn't have enough oomph to fire the, uh, strike the primers correctly. I'm gonna shoot a couple more and see how it goes. Yep, all I can say, yeah, we're gonna bring this back to Marty now that we test fired it, performed flawlessly. What can I say, it's a very well-made pistol by a custom gunsmith. And the only thing now is just to make that front sight just a tad lower. So it's not gonna be a problem. Goes back to Marty anyhow to do some beautification on it. Um, so we're gonna start working on the aesthetics. And then in the aesthetics part, we're gonna continue the um, pocket-friendly type of situation. And we're not gonna be plunking down a lot of money on the uh, repairs and the modifications. We're doing that um, one step at a time. We're gonna start probably the front cocking serrations, then the top stippling, then the front strap stippling, maybe a little undercut under the trigger guard. 
and then we're gonna finish off by removing the checkering on the magwell and adding some stippling in the back and maybe reshaping the magwell a little bit. But we'll talk about that when we go to Marty's, okay? So again, guys, thanks for watching. And remember, stay healthy, be safe, and have fun on the range. Thank you for watching Gunstock Reviews. Please visit our website at www.gunstockreviews.com for more exclusive content. Please visit our patron page at www.patreon.com slash gunstockreviews. Your contributions would be greatly appreciated and help us grow our selections and frequency of videos.